Ho ho ho! Welcome to Super Meat World! Joy to the world! Uh, oh, sorry, I have this weird cold today. So, anyway, we're gonna play a chapter entitled The Kid's Xmas. And this chapter, as you might think, has absolutely nothing rejoiceful going for. And hooray for the black border, in which titles are supposed to appear but aren't because the game is bugged, and which made me unable to see where I started the level at all, and thus I got killed for absolutely no reason. This chapter represents quite a milestone for Super Meat World, because this was the final chapter to be featured on it, even though it was uploaded before chapters such as Unholy Mountain and Zero Hour, which is pretty much one of the last user-made chapters which have been featured, and we're pretty much gonna go back to it. But in the meantime, have an idea of how it is to play this chapter in real. Okay, maybe not at that speed, but that's about the only thing that'll make it palatable, because, yeah. This level is a pain in the ass, because the last part is the hardest one of the bunch. Oh my god, I was so close this time around. You have no margin for error into the last part of this level. All of your jumps have to be perfect, because you have to pause at some point. Oh my... Argh. Yeah, this chapter has nothing happy going for it, as you will expect. This is pretty much the kid's warp zone, but with about three times the asshole factor. And in fact, it got even more level than the kid's warp zone, so it's even worse into this aspect. This level is such a pain in the ass, because once again, the last section is the hardest one of the entire bunch, so you'll have to play the entire level over and over and over again. But yeah, while we're looking at the replay, we're gonna talk about the chapter a little bit more. This chapter was made by Team Meat, and it appeared on the game during the Christmas Steam sale that happened in 2011. Around that time, a whole lot of games were updated in order to feature additional Christmas Steam achievements that will net you rewards or lump of coals that you could use in order to have other rewards that you could use on Steam, for instance, rebates on certain games and all sort of things like that. So, yeah, essentially this chapter is this Steam achievement that was offered for people who have Super Meat Boy and who wanted their own lump of coal. You had two achievements for this. You had one achievement for finishing any of the levels into this chapter, and the other one you had to be the entire chapter in one sitting. Yeah, if you closed the game and you were four levels done out of five, well too bad, you had to replay the entire thing. Hooray for Super Meat World, which doesn't save anything and will continue to do so until the end of time. And for the while being, will not accept anything neither. Yeah, into this chapter, I'm gonna flash forward back to the time where I died in order, well, to show the next part that I've died, but hey, it's a thought that matters. But since these levels are really, really long and, well, it will pretty much suck to see me replay all of this over and over again. I'm just gonna start cutting off to the part where I died in order to show the other place where I die until that I beat the level. And yeah, this is not the way that you're supposed to beat this level, but due to a lack of foresight into the level design, you can easily skip about the quarter of this level. And in fact, I found that the shortcut is a whole lot easier to do than the normal way through this level. In fact, I don't think that I've ever beaten this level legitimately once. This level kind of reminds me of the second level from the Kids Warp Zone, but this time around you're allowed to jump everywhere and you do not have to run on elevators, but don't think that it'll be easier for you to beat this level. Oh no it isn't. And once again, you can see that the second half of the level is a whole lot harder than the first one. Honestly, this chapter is filled with dick design decision. This whole chapter was made in order to be dicks to their audience. If you bought this game in order to try your hand at the Christmas achievement in order to be able to get all of these neat rewards and all of this sort of thing, well, you can simply go to hell, because if you buy the game and you try to do that, you're gonna fail miserably. There's no way you'll be able to do that at this time. In fact, I'm pretty sure that a whole lot of people who had gold and god on this game never took the time to beat this warp zone neither. That's how difficult it is. And yeah, all of the levels into the chapter have bandages, just in the unlikely case that you want to try your hand at getting them, but for the most part, these bandages are really easy to get. Okay, maybe not that easy, but that's not the hardest thing that you'll have to do into this one chapter. Alright, we're halfway done through this chapter already, but yeah, don't worry because we're still gonna have heavy resistance along the way. 
just in case that we didn't already have enough of it. However, you gotta hand one thing to the kid. He never stops smiling. He may die over and over again, but his happiness will live in our hearts. Yeah, this level kinda reminds me of level 3 of the kids' warp zone, as in you have to avoid all of these obstacles around you, and this level is pretty much all about timing. And I really can't believe that at this point I'm still not dead yet. This is some kind of record. And for once, the second half of the level is a whole lot easier than the first one, so take advantage of this while you can. Alright, don't fuck this up. Holy shit, I've made it through an entire level of this chapter without dying once. Okay, I really don't know what to say here. Okay, after watching this level, I think I now know what to say. Why? Okay, now that this is passed, let's move on to this level. Just in case that we didn't play enough of the kids' first level of the Warp Zone, or remakes of it, or remake of the remakes, here- Oh my god, why do I have to replay this level again? I'm sick of this level already. I mean, in 5 updates of Super Meat World, this is the third variant of this level that I'm seeing, and this jump is such a pain in the ass. Your timing has to be impeccable in order to do this jump, and yeah, getting this bandage is tricky at first, but once that you figure out that you simply have to let go the wall and slide all the way down and fall off the wall, then you can use your double jump to easily get out of the jam. But yeah, it's really hard to do many of these jumps, yeah, this one for instance, this is probably the hardest. <laughs> Sometime I really can hate this game quite a bit. And now you can be sure that I'm gonna have one hell of a hard time doing this again. So it's time to bring back the failure vision part of the video. Sure, you might have thought that I've done really well with the first level of the kids warp zone as well than puberty, but I have finally met my match here because Holy shit, this level ended up brutalizing me a whole lot. And don't ask me why the hell I keep getting all of these bandages over and over again. Th There's absolutely nothing that forces me of getting them, so I really don't know why. And this was such a bad reflection that I ended up killing myself in the weirdest way possible. This level is a whole lot harder to me than the first level of the Kids Warp Zone, and even puberty for that matter, because the jumps that you have to do after dropping such a huge distance are really hard to pull off properly. And here we are, it's all or nothing. And here we go, we finally managed to unwrap our presents, and we've managed to vanquish the Kids Xmas. And if you played the chapter like this back in Christmas, you will have gotten two neat achievements by doing so. But then again, I'm not really sure there's been a whole lot of people out there who bothered getting those achievements to begin with, because, like I previously said, this is hard as hell. I mean, there's only five levels into this one chapter, and yet my death counter was almost in the three digits. And with that, we are done with the kids' Xmas. Coming up next, Captain Viridian is taking over Super Meat Boy into Vexing Vortex by Ryoko TK.